<laughs> Hello. So if you sell clothing on eBay and you don't sell on Poshmark, in my opinion, that is a mistake. In my opinion, you don't need to wait until you're a super established eBay seller to start cross-listing on Poshmark. Poshmark, for all of its bad reputation of of being confusing and being more of a social network than a reselling platform, um, I think there's, there's very little reason to ever uh, not cross-list. And I'm going to show you how fast it actually is to do this. So when you go through the whole process of creating an eBay listing for a piece of clothing, doing the Poshmark at the end, cross-listing it on Poshmark takes maybe, maybe like 10% as long. So I have this listing, it's for a Uniqlo sweater, this thing here. Um, so I got all the photos, I got all the stats punched in, and I'm gonna cross-list this on Poshmark as I would. And then we're gonna sit through an entire new listing so you can get a sense of the time scales of how long, just how long and tedious the eBay listing is and how fast the Poshmark listing is. So I got all my stuff punched in here. Okay, let me uh, go here. All right, go to Poshmark, sell on Poshmark. Grab all the vitals out of here, copy. And this item, these two items are not even going to be quite as fast as normal because they have uh, flaws with them and stuff. They're going to have to be edited a little bit. Okay, so nine photos. So Poshmark has a limit of eight photos. So I'm going to choose one to axe, upload eight. This one doesn't belong there. Flaws. Okay, we can actually add. Back in here. So there is a character limit on Poshmark. So if you see right at the end there, cut off one of the measurements, go in here. Yeah, this is about as long as it can possibly take. It's usually, I'm usually done by now. There we go, is that correct? No. Okay. And we're done. That is as long as it ever takes. And let me show you in comparison how long it takes to list something on eBay from scratch. And then we'll cross list it.
And of course the computer is slow. Why would the computer not be slow? Um, let's see. Oh. Fuck. So I have my old template on this one, my old format. Now, when you're listing stuff, I mean, one little complication, if you find, like if this happens, or let's say you find a stain after you've done all the photos, that tacks on like 10 minutes, maybe longer, to your listing. The point here is all of the vital info that you need for an eBay listing for a piece of clothing is, there's nothing additional that you need for Poshmark. So it really is just copy paste.
Okay. Time. So that's how long it took um, to fill out all of the relevant info on the eBay listing. And that took for goddamn ever because it's eBay. Now, let's hop over to Poshmark, see how long this takes us. So I'm just gonna right away copy that. And we're done. Is that too much work? Is that such a hassle? After that whole rigmarole of putting all that shit into eBay, just copy and pasting over to Poshmark, that's all it is. There's a couple little counterintuitive things you have to know, like the pricing, how the pricing works. Basically, the customer pays 679, I think it's 679, on top of whatever your, your listing price is for shipping. So you have to do some arithmetic mentally, like subtract six from your eBay price. And then, you know, it is a little intimidating, all the social sharing stuff. You don't need to worry about following people or who's following you. All you have to do is once or twice a day, you have to come in to your closet. This is all your listings. You click that, share to your followers. Click, share to your followers. Click, share to your followers, click share your followers, and you do that for every hour. And that is a hassle. You're gonna be wasting time anyway. You're gonna be watching me on YouTube, or you're gonna be watching uh, you know, TV or something, and you can have this running on your thumbs in the background for very little extra effort. It's so worth it, it's so worth it. There's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this. I mean, there's days when I have no eBay sales and I have three Poshmark sales that make up for it. Poshmark also gets the reputation of uh, being full of lowballers, which it is. The crowd is more oriented towards a good deal than eBay, but it's not like eBay isn't also full. I mean, I've gotten like five lowball offers on eBay today alone and none on Poshmark. People have these weird rationales for not doing this. And it's just because it's unfamiliar. This is it, this is my whole Poshmark strategy. Copy, paste, and then share the shit. And it sells, that's it, that's it. It's so easy, it's so easy. And this is, look, even if eBay is intimidating to you as a new seller, because it is the hardest platform to list clothing on for sure. If you don't wanna do uh, eBay, then do Poshmark. Poshmark was built for um, the neophyte seller and the casual seller, the closet seller. So this is totally legit. I mean, there are people that make their full time living just doing Poshmark. Okay, hopefully you're convinced. Bye.